a uh, couple of days that have left us feeling very helpless, particularly when it has to do with young people. But in tonight's Bay Area Proud, our Gavin Thomas introduces us to a middle school students who understand that the first step to not feeling helpless is actually to do something, no matter how big or small. The eighth graders at Steindorf Steam School in San Jose are about to head off to high school next. Their teachers have worked hard to make sure they are prepared as scholars. Well, they certainly seem to be prepared as humans. Oh, so maybe they're both here. On any given day in Chow Chang's leadership class at Steindorf Steam Magnet School in San Jose, at least half the desks are likely to be empty. Her students, you see, are normally engaged in activities all over the school, <laughs> taking surveys, broadcasting the school news, even delivering birthday wishes. Lately, though, there has been one task that has been keeping these young people in one place, all because their hearts are apparently in the right place. I think it started like a month or two ago. What Elle Winfield and her classmates started doing a month or two ago was something we all started doing, paying attention to the war in Ukraine and the suffering of its people. I just saw their faces crying on the news and it just broke my heart. It not only broke their hearts, but left them wondering if there was anything a group of young people a world away could do to help. So the title says Paper Cranes for Ukraines. That, Estella Lee says, is when they came up with the idea of Cranes for Ukraine. Inspired by the children's book, Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, about a Japanese girl living in the aftermath of World War II, the leadership students not only started folding their own cranes, it looks like this. they went around the school teaching other students how to do it too. Their goal? 1,000 cranes to be sold at the school's maker fair, raising thousands of dollars for the Ukrainian refugees. It's also about like spreading awareness and like coming together as a community to really show how we can impact something so far away. You're never too young or too small to make a difference. I really hope and I believe that they will take away this feeling of empowerment where it's like, I can do this. I can make a difference with my voice. The Steindorf students easily reached their goal. The money, already gone, on its way to helping the Ukrainian people. But the lessons these students learn will likely stick with them forever. Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News. That is nice to see.